Hey, what is going on, pros and presses? It's Ken Jen here, just one, two, three, and welcome to another sit-down commentary session. Again, let the old COD4 gameplay play in the uh, background. Domination on vacant, and the final score is 50 to 12. So here we are for another commentary, guys. Today's commentary or topic talk will be: Should you feel sorry for the homeless? Now, there's a lot of obviously, there's a lot of I was gonna say hi, but that doesn't make sense. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, con, con, I can't say the word controversy, con, yeah, controversy around homeless people because for, for the one pure fact is that you do not know their backstory, and that is my main point of this commentary. You do not, un, you do not know their backstory. Again, there's genuine, and because of that, you know, there's genuine homeless people, and there's not genuine homeless people, and I have, I have been witness to both. You know. I was walking through a town centre. You know, I used to I used to work in a town centre when I was younger, and I used to go through. You know, I used to go past you know the same homeless tram every day, and you know that that guy was. I don't know if to say he was or not. You know, homeless, but he seemed like he seemed like more more like the homeless type. But you know, he still had a dog. He still had this. He still had. You know that, so just it does make a double thing. But then you've got like another guy who, who was actually in the town centre. You know, he'll be sitting there. You know, he'll just have like a pair of jeans and some other stuff on, and he'll just have his hat. You know, his hat out, and then he'll just beg for money. And then after, he'll just get up and walk away. And they're like, well, hang on a minute, he just he's just got up and walk away. But you know, saying that, you know, you get at best what a couple quid per day, like a few pounds per day. You know, which is not a lot. So why would you even waste your time doing that? It doesn't make sense. You know, but I guess if that's you know, I don't know, it doesn't make sense doing that, but you know, you see some fake home people, homeless people, and you see you see videos on you know, YouTube and Facebook where people create fake broken legs and they sit down and then when they get up they take it off and you're just like, Whoa, you know, but again they may not get much money for it. But regardless, that's still the point. You you know, they make you you know, they they generally make people feel sorry for them. So what you know, why would they uh, do that to people, you know, why would they do that? And you know, that's, that's, by my, that's back to my point again, you know, can you trust homeless people? Now, again, like I said, you don't know their backstory. So, the backstory may be that they may be, they may be acting as a fake homeless person. But a genuine homeless person, you know, they may have, you know, generally had struggles. You know, they may, they may not have much family. You know, so they may be the only family member left or something like that. And, you know, they can't afford to keep it up because they may maybe got made redundant. And then it may, it may be harder, really fun you know, to lose, a, you know, to get a job and stuff. So maybe people like that are genuine homeless people when they generally did struggle and stuff like that, or maybe they, maybe they've had a complication in the family where they, you know, where someone's had a problem and they needed the, you know, needed a an operation and it's cost them all their money in their house and they've had to, you know, sell it and then they've ended up on the street and stuff like that. So stuff like that is, you know, genuine home, you know, genuine homeless people, people that genuinely need, you know, money, but. I mean, personally, I will not donate to any. Again, this kind of comes under the should you trust charities commentary I done a while back, but it just comes under the thing where because you don't know their backstory, you know. And I know again, it's only say like maybe one or two p, but that one or two p can add up, you know, add up. And if you say well, you one p, it adds up to a pound. Blah blah. I've already said this in the other commentary, but you know, you think, you know, regardless whether they deserve it or they don't deserve it, you do not know. Their backstory, and you know, even if you ask to, you know, even if you ask them what's their story, you just can't trust them, and that's why I think it's not fair because you know, again, like, like I said, in another con commentary, I'm all up for helping people, I'm all, I'm all up for you know, doing this and doing that, but you know, you just have to be careful who you give them money to because you know, everyone's trying to get money, everyone's trying to get as much money as possible, and you know, there's always cons and scams to money. Again, what these fake homeless people do, and I, and I think it is bad because it gives the real homeless people, you know, a bad name. Again, you just you just you just don't know who's real homeless. Um, you know, again, I don't mean this in a mean way where you know you can't trust the homeless, you know, homeless and stuff. You know, but you know, and even if you do give them money, yeah, you know, what are they spending it on? Are they spending it on drugs? Are they spending it on drink? You know, alcohol drink? You know, they're spending it on, you know, whatever. Yet, you know, they should be spending it on the most necessary things. They're spending it on having clean drinking water. You know. Like buying like the big bottles of 15p water, like is he spending it on that and buying, say 50p loaves of bread, like just so they can eat and drink, just like the most necessary things, not spending it on drink or fags or whatever. Like they need to spend it on the most, most necessary things, and that's again, that's where you know if you do give people money, you know, 
we want it to go to the you know want it to go to the correct thing. So again, that's another thing you know. That's another thing where should you feel sorry slash should you trust homeless people because you know it's it's not nice being homeless you you know whatever you are but you know and again you just don't know what their stories are. And again, like I said, even though someone may have had a uh, you know a medical operation where it's maybe maybe made them homeless or wherever or for whatever random reason you know genuine homeless people generally do do have family and stuff you know which is fine but it just, it, again it's just it's just a load of backstory to homeless people and you know what they are I mean I mean should you feel sorry well again, it comes under should you you know should you really trust them and stuff and I think I don't know I think you should feel sorry and you shouldn't feel sorry because you know, in, in your head to say to yourself you feel sorry for the genuine homeless people but you don't feel sorry for the non-genuine homeless people again even in the homeless world you know people ruin it for other people because if everyone was genuine homeless and they generally spend it on you know necessary stuff then you know it would be a better place and you see you see these guys on Facebook like you know Jack Jones TV and all that you know you see them give like a packet of crisp and you know a uh, like a bottle of drink to a homeless person again you don't know what their backstory is they may not deserve that drink they may not deserve that packet of crisp and I comment on every video you know they say you know oh you don't know their backstory and stuff and it's true you, you just do not know their backstory because you know again and that's where money money equals greed because you're trying to, you know they're trying to get as much as possible even though they may get a couple of things they're still trying to get they're still in the bottom of the league they're still in the very bottom of trying to get money, trying to get free things, you know, you know, what's the point in it? And like I said, I've been eyewitness to you know, eyewitness to both types of homeless people, you know, you do see genuine homeless and then you see you see the guy which just gets up and walks away and stuff and and again it just brings back to my book commentary sorry, not commentary, yeah, commentary. You know, who really has enough spare cash these days to give homeless people money when you don't know their backstory, you know, when your money could go towards other things and Again, it's homeless people. Just goes it goes for charities as well. I've said this in another commentary already, but you just you know you just can't trust charities. You can't trust this. You can't trust that. You know, so, you know. Don't be so quick to throw me money because that's what they want you to do. They want you to throw you. I got stuck here for some reason. Yeah, they just they want you to throw your money on, which is not a good thing. So I mean, the main question is, too, guys. You know, should you trust? You know, should you trust homeless people? You know, should you feel sorry for homeless people? You know. Again, because of their bag stories, you know, question number question is to you guys, do you give to homeless people, you know, and what do you give? Do you give, like, a pence? Do you give, like, 50p, a pound? You know, do you give them any food? You know, do you, uh, you know, not, I mean, generally they're around town centres and stuff where most people are populated because obviously they've got, they've got the highest chance of getting, you know, getting, getting more money then because obviously there's more people about and stuff. But yeah, that's the main question to you guys. Uh, so let me know in the comments. Because again, this series is always about getting you guys involved, everything like that as well. And I know one more thing as well. I know homeless people do vary from country to country. Like, I, I know obviously homeless people have different situations in different countries and stuff. And um, obviously, some of it may be due to government, some of it may, may, may be due to this, maybe due to that. But again, it's all just it's all just a big mess up at the end of the day because, like I said, the pure one fact. You know, if I was homeless, you know, people don't know my backstory. You know, I could have been homeless because I took drugs. You know, I lost all my money, my house got repossessed by gangs and ended up on the streets and then you may act innocent, you know, and then, you know, you continue to buy drugs because you're addicted. I think for that reason, it's, you, do, you do have to just be careful. So, this commentary is coming to end. Like I said, the final score is 50 to 12. I do love vacant though, I do love vacant, really, really good map. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and I shall see all of you guys later.